Pivot tables are one of the most useful tools that Excel has to offer, allowing the user to quickly summarize and explore data. Incorporating slicers into your pivot tables makes the filtering process even easier. The Excel default applies one slicer to one pivot table, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a slicer to multiple pivot tables so that they can all be filtered at once. First, let's discuss the basics of a pivot table. A pivot table is a powerful tool that can be used to calculate, summarize, and analyze data, giving you a deeper insight by making it easy to identify trends and patterns. You can build multiple reports on multiple data sets from just one data model. Now I'm going to show you how to connect slicers to multiple Excel pivot tables in five easy steps. Step one, build two pivot tables by selecting the data set and clicking insert pivot table from table or range and choosing to place the pivot table on a new worksheet or existing worksheet. Then for each pivot table, set the desired rows and values you'd like to summarize. For this example, in our first pivot table, we will summarize incremental amounts by department, and the second will summarize incremental amounts by title. Next, we will insert year and month slicers. Step two, select the first pivot table and input a year slicer by selecting pivot table analyze from the ribbon, then insert slicer. Check year and then okay. Step three, Select the first pivot table and input a month slicer by selecting pivot table analyze from the ribbon, then insert slicer. Check month and then OK. Now that the slicers have been set, you can see that they only filter the data shown on pivot table one. So it's time to connect our second table. Step four, right click on the year slicer and click report connections. Check the box next to the second pivot table, then click OK. And finally, step five, Right click on the month slicer, click report connections, check the box next to the second pivot table, then click OK. Now both the year and month slicers work on both pivot tables. Be on the lookout for part two of this video where we will discuss how to apply a single slicer to multiple data sources.